I'm Rick Banks, and you've got an examination of the marriage decline among African Americans and everyone else. I've often been accused of promoting racial genocide, of supporting the annihilation of the black race, being a pawn for white people who have been on destroying the black family, all for suggesting that black women exercise the same freedom that men and women of other groups take for granted. 70% of black children are born to unmarried parents. During the last half century, African Americans have become the least likely to marry, yet the most likely to divorce. A pivotal cause of this decline is that although black women have moved ahead, black men have fallen behind. Unprecedented numbers are incarcerated. Nearly twice as many black women as men graduate from college. The best thing that black women can do to bolster the black family is to open themselves to relationships with men of other races. If they do so, they would not only find better relationships for themselves, they'd find that they have more power in their relationships with black men. And their increased power would enable them to form the strong families that they want with African-American men. The experience of African-Americans is extreme, but it's not unique. Marriage has declined throughout American society. It's a loss for adults, but most especially, it is a loss for children because children depend on the adults in their lives having the stable relationships that allow them to work together and be good parents for those children. 